Who's eating out of that? Not me. <laughs> Check-in sent to Cuba. Some guys reply ASAP because he's the fucking man. And we are on the money, which is nice. So well, yesterday we probably had, I didn't calculate it, but roughly 800, 850 grams of carbs or something around there. Did 850, 800 carbs, eight liters of water, six grams of salt, and that was our last training and we did push. So today is a very simple day. We're pulling back on food volume now that we're nice and full, just to keep control of the midsection, which really isn't an issue for me ever, but just to err on the side of caution. So we're probably in and around 400 grams of carbs this afternoon. So the first meal that we got today is 75 grams of cream of rice. And I don't buy any fancy cream of rice. Blend my own. This is empty now pretty much. But instant white rice in the blender. Simple as can be. That way there's no fillers, any bullshit like that. Because I have a sensitive stomach. And I'd rather not have any sort of issues. Plus, it is a fraction of the price. So like I said, we got 75 grams of cream of rice, we got 10 grams of raisins. And raisins, you may ask, why? Simply as a gentle laxative to make sure that bowel motility is there and you're gonna get constipated. So, we got 10 grams of raisins, we've got 10 grams of dark chocolate, just for some fats. And then we got 25 grams of whey iso. So, pretty well a light meal. And then on top of that, we got 100 grams of berries. So we're gonna do a little strawberry mix. And we got some raspberry so. And then on top of that, we got one gram of salt with the meal. So nothing too crazy. I typically have about 15 grams of salt per day, but given, um, we just pull it back slightly just to pull things in, we're down to six. So that is that. The stuff that people are gonna be, ooh, what's that? We'll just leave that right there and let you guess what it would be. For whoever is educated, knows. But it is to help with carbohydrates and sugar. This case is phenomenal for uh, traveling. It uh, is a cooler and it actually has a gauge on the top of it that you can plug into the ice packs to show you what the actual core temperature inside of the cooler is. So whoever, you know, might be diabetic, and doesn't have one already, it could be of good use to you. We'll leave it at that. Lastly, we weigh out the water as well, just to have consistency and to be as accurate as humanly possible. So with this, we're going to do about 250 milliliters of water. Perfect. And that is meal one. And it is currently four in the morning. So it's quite early. And the reason why is we found that my best look is about two meals deep and about two liters of water in as well. So with that being said, considering what time the show starts at, I tend to wake up a little bit earlier, get that first meal in around 4.30, and then the second meal 
around 9, 8.30ish. And then from there we kind of just coast into pre-judging. So meal two is 85 grams of chicken. So not much at all. Bikini girl diet right here. <laughs> So we got 85 grams of chicken, we got 215 grams of cooked rice. So I'll have this meal in about another few minutes and then take my photos about 60 minutes after this meal has been consumed. So we got 215 rice, 85 grams of chicken, and then 10 grams of raisins. And then we will also have a little bit of fats with it. So another 10 grams of dark chocolate. Beautiful. And then with that, we have one gram of salt. Easy peasy. We'll set that aside. And then personally for me, I always I like to warm up my food on the stove. Tastes a little bit more fresh in my opinion. So, our Airbnb doesn't have a pan. We're using a pot. Um, do a little bit of cooking spray just to make sure we don't have it stick. But it'd be a pretty simple day today. Perfect. And of course, Team Long Spoon. The reason why, A, you don't have to lift up your whole arm to get the food into your mouth. So maybe that's me being a little bit lazy. But for the bigger and more important side of things, the actual size of the spoon head, sorry that's dirty, is smaller. So it forces you to eat slow, which enables better digestion. You're not just hoofing food into your mouth. So I always do it in prep, personally, I like it, um, might not be for everybody, but again, it really makes you have to slow down and eat your food as opposed to just scarfing it down the hatch, which will more than likely cause digestive issues if that be bloating or, you know, just overall digestive discomfort. It's the last thing that we need one day out from the show. So we'll get this down. Enjoy it, make it nice and crispy in the frying pan as opposed to the microwave. Check out the bowl too. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of dark chocolate in the morning. This last roll, honestly, mm -hmm. dark chocolate, like I feel like it helps. Like, yeah. Put you in a good mood. <laughs> We're eating chocolate. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I always thought it was just a kid's thing, you know, like kids like chocolate. Yo, I get the like behind it, you know? Like you need the fats. Helps fill you out. And it tastes good. I honestly break it up and put it in my rice. That's crazy. At least I'm putting everything in one bowl. I'm like, I'm like, please tell me something to get it all. Yeah, bro. You break it up into little pieces. Chocolate or rice? Trust me. Chocolate, rice, and raisins. Sounds wild. It works. Because it's dark chocolate, so it adds a little bit of that bitterness, right? It's not like milk chocolate or anything stupid sweet. So it just kind of adds a little bit more depth to the food. Here I am talking like a Michelin star chef. Yeah. <laughs> this is like right there, watching the restaurant. It's just like, you just mix it all up. Right? And of course, we got a little bit of Cajun. Oh um, my God, it's nice to see. <laughs> Just ever so minor, just to add a little bit of flavor to the food. Nothing too crazy at all. Um, yeah, simple. Trick to getting your food nice and crispy. Just pressing it into the bottom of the pan and letting it just roast there for a minute. Or in this case, the bottom of the, the good old blue pot turquoise, whatever the color that is. Just press it in. Mind you, it might not be your thing to have crispy rice, but I like it. 
And it gets the raisins, the sugar from the raisins out, if that makes sense. Not out, but more so into the food. So, what we're gonna do now, it's fairly warm. Turn this guy off. As wild as this might sound, you can break up your chocolate. And have a little bit to ourselves. And that's our meal. Rice, raisins, chicken, chocolate and one gram of salt. And we shall enjoy this. All right, so it is 9.53. Went to the gym, DJ worked out. I did check-ins for coach. And that was about 60, 65 minutes after meal two. And everything is fine and dandy. He's happy as hell. So we're just gonna continue on with the plan that we set out for this morning. So meal three, we got 90 grams of salmon. We got 215 grams of rice, 100 grams of pineapple, and 10 grams of good old raisins. Make sure you're pooping like no tomorrow. <laughs> and of course, we got one gram of salt. So we're gonna get this down the hatch. That is smoking and then just chill. We got Netflix going, DoorDasher is on their way, just to bring some more chicken and some more jugs of water. So right now we're probably, well, call it three and a bit liters of water. So it's gonna be an easy, breezy kind of day. And yeah, that's about it. Chill so far. Everything's moving to plan, no stress. It's just a matter of waiting until we get to tomorrow at this point now. Bloody good. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody good. I'm a lover for salmon. A few moments later. One eternity later. Fuck with me. You know I got it. They even make a mess. That ah, shit. Normally that would be all over the place. I'm proud of myself. Pat myself on the back. <laughs> so we got meal four about to go down. 100 grams of cream of rice. We got 100 grams of berries. 20 grams of dark chocolate, gram of salt, and 40 grams of whey iso. I'm going to make my drink for the night. I'll sip on this because I go to bed, I kid you not, at like seven o'clock right now, given that we're waking up at 3.30ish for the meal tomorrow for four. So again, 20 grams EAAs, 10 grams glutamine, and then this is the ANS Diablo PM version. So there's stuff like ashwagandha in there and whatnot just to kind of conk you out. And uh, it is actually very effective, at least for myself. All right, meal five, 2.33. Just got our tan done, sent photos to coach. Everything's looking great. So meal five, 215 grams of rice, 100 grams of pineapple, 30 grams of dark chocolate, and 90 grams of chicken. With one gram of salt, of course. And then um, got athletes meeting about an hour and a half. So you eat this, go for a little five minute easy walk up and down the hallway. 
and we'll just chill out until athlete's time. It is 5.17 p.m. for the last meal of the night. We got 75 grams of cream of rice. We got 30 grams of chocolate, which is gorgeous. And then we got our 10 grams of raisins. Nice 30 grams of chocolate. And this is 90%. Um, so there's really no additives in terms of a bunch of sugar and crap like that. Tastes as much like the dirt on the earth as it could probably get. And then we've got 30 grams of, 20 grams of isolate. So not much at all, but enough just to add a bit of flavor and get the job done. Our one gram, shit, one gram of salt. Make sure you get all this gains in here. Our one gram of salt, our water. Pumpkin spice, because we are that type of guy. And then yeah, the rest of the water that we have for the day is this little bit, and that would be a total of six liters down. So, that's it for today. Gonna be a nice chill night now. Take a nice pre-bed nap. If you know me, that is my thing. So I have this, take a little snooze for about an hour, wake up, take uh, my supplements, and then <laughs> and go to bed after that. So chill nights, fun day tomorrow, the last show of the rookie season. Um, and we'll go out with a bang and just have fun with it. Have a good night, people, and we shall see you guys in the morning. Peace out.